ready to begin. It will be John to throw for the ball first. It's outside the ball. That's a 25. Salmon won the ball. First leg, it's Salmon to throw first. Game on. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Coverage continues of the WDF World Open 2022 here at De Bonte in beautiful Assen. 22. And we have a Scotsman on commentary, a Dane refereeing, an Englishman and a Dutchman playing. John Scott, the man they call Nasher, taking on Salman Renyan of the Netherlands. 44. Former international player is Renyan. Represented the Netherlands at the WDF World Cup all the way back in 2011. Also played in the World Masters 2011 17. and 2012. 2011 he lost the last one 2 8 to Martin Phillips. And the 2012 World Masters won against John Murray of Ireland, defeated Gary Stone, and then the big man's going to love that he's getting a shout out on the stream. He loved, he then lost his last 64 match to Northern Ireland's big Paul Brown. Paul Brown's day has just been made because he's had a mention. <laughs> in more recent times, though, Salmon reached the last 64 of the Dutch Open in both 2020 and 2022. 100. 2020 a loss to Tother Martin Atkins. And in 22 he lost to Robbie Knops of Belgium. His opponent, the man Nasher, 41 years old from England, currently 48th in the WDF World Rankings. A former Estonian Open and Estonian Masters champion, and the reigning Reykjavik International Games champion, and the, reg the reigning Kaunas Open champion. 100. Got out the group in the World Masters on Thursday. Won four out of four in his group. Sorry, check that. Won three out of three in his group. Defeated Levi Vindels by four legs to one. Jose Luis Ortega by four legs to nil. And Suri Paulsen of Denmark by four legs to one. And his run came to an end in the first knockout round when he lost five legs to two to Greg Ritchie. Also reached the quarterfinals of the Swedish Masters this year. 4 0 defeat to Anthony Allen at that stage. John, you require 100. Last 16 of the Italian Open. He lost to Dario Focasato. And he has. First go at a finish in this leg, 1-3-5 for John. Won't do it this time. That leaves him 59. Well, 114. that leaves him 21. Salmon, you require 86. 86 then for Salmon Renyan. Yes, double 16 for the first leg with the throw. Double 8 then. Not to be. John, you require 21. Single five, possibly. Yep, five for double eight. Steal the first leg. Oh, I thought it was in. Back you go. <laughs> Takes aim at double four. That's in. Okay, yes, yeah, the first leg. <laughs> it's John Scott. Points that out to Christian Sorensen, our referee. Second leg. That one's in, I think. Throw first. Indeed, it Game is John. 1 0. Off to a good start. 96 there for John to start this one. Where have you been? I had to sort out some problems on the outer boards. Oh. But it was all good. The late Marco Meyer has joined us. Yes. 
have a look at some of the games currently ongoing. Dita Hedman has just recorded a 4-0 victory over Audrey Eastvine. From Belgium. Correct. Claudio Dolcetti is 3-2 up on Davy Kerwin. And Richard Feinstra is out, or you already mentioned that? No, I don't think I did. Oh, just seen the result of Richard Feinstra is out of the tournament. Well, 100. Mark Borelli currently 2-2 with Christopher Toonders. Bradley Rouse is 3-2 up in his match. Natalie Gilbert leads Anna Forsmark by two legs to nil. Kirsty Vinnie-Kanen is 1-0 with Lindsay Ward. Eileen de Graff is 1-0 with Liz Tynan. 60. And Oli Ferrari of Sweden is 1-0 up on Ben Hazel. Danny Laube has just started his match with Oliver Muller. Danny who put out Gary Stone in the last round. And Elliot Milk, 1-0 up on Jurian van der Velde. Young, talented 60. player from the Netherlands. Yep, he'll be feeling a bit sour after losing the first leg. Sour? Milk? Yeah? No? Okay. Yes, you, okay, you can have it. Thank you. <laughs> He's living on a big farm. 45. Jurian? Ooh. His mum and dad have around three and a half hundred cows. Really big farm, close to here. And it's a real sporting family. Jurian and Rose, his sister. 100. Excellent player as well. And one of the brothers was really good in driving a motorbike. Oh. There because you are. the circuit of Von Assen is really close by to here. Excellent dart from Salman Renyan there. John, you require 100. John Scott, though, first to the finish, 145. Just in the result coming in, Andreas Harrison beat Thibaut Tricol, 4-1. Wow. Thibaut only averaging 66. Yep, what's there happening, what's mm. happening there? 66 for the World Championship runner-up. What's happening in that match? Yep, Andreas and Harrison through to the last 32, 87. as is Benjamin Prattnemer. Defeats America's Kevin Luke, four legs to one. Hian Van Veen, 4-0 in his match. 100 average for Hian. Another 100 plus average. Yes. Davy Proustin is through, defeating Jim Long. Philip Sebesta, the man who has conquered Richard Weinstra. Chris Landman is Junior through, four legs to three over Martin Marti Santa Maria. Yeah, the man from Catalonia. As John Scott goes for 58 for a 2 0 lead, single 18. And Daniel Zapata from Catalonia. One had a nice win over Gains Leonard Gates. John leg. Scott, a nice John win Scott. in that leg. 17 Third darts. Leg take a 2 0 lead over Salmon Reignan. Martijn de Vries is through, Vincent van der Meer is through. Kai Fan Lung, Johnny Tata, Danny Laube, Oliver Muller, James Richardson all through to the last 32. 60. James Huddle is through. Stefan Dupre, the Flaming Fleming, has defeated Lee Shu in four legs to three. What a nickname he has, mm. Stefan. Made it to the quarterfinals in the World Trophy a couple of years ago. Quick the walk on music as well. Yes. Fireball. And Anthony Allen through David Venkin, his victim. David Venkin was in the lead in that match. Anthony Allen has brought it back and is through to the last 32. Mark Borelli is out. Christopher Tunders of Germany. 55. Dispatches the Scotsman four legs to two. Natalie Gilbert, 3-0 up on Anna Forsmark from Sweden at the moment. Lisa Tyler of America, 2-0 up on Christine Hyde. And the man who beat it, Nick Kenny in the first round. He, Jared van Essen, he's 3-3 three, three at the moment against Bradley Roos. So another decider for Jared van Essen. It's so all happening. That was the big surprise here in the first round. That Jared van Essen beat Nick Kenny. 55. After yesterday, a lot of Dutch people were happy with that result. <laughs> Eighty-seven. This is the nineteens, there, John. Still, almost a hundred points in front. There's not a lot to worry at the moment. 
Eileen de Graaf goes into a 2-1 lead in her match. Ben Hazel is 2-1 up. Bradley Roos has defeated Jurit Van Essen. Four legs to three. Noah Lynn Van Leuven is out. Losing to Mayu Aoki of Japan. Barry Copeland, 2-1 up on Edwin Torbjornsson. Davy Kerwin has brought it back and defeated Claudio Dolcetti. Four legs to three. It is all happening on the outside boards. Yes, it is. Elliot Milk, one all with Yuri and Van der Velde. Anna Forsmark gets a leg back 16. against Natalie Gilbert. John Brianne Locken has got a leg against Christoph Engel. Only 60 here from Salomon. Leaving one through one. John is first for a 170. The big fish. Yes. Yes, that's one. Needs another treble. Yes, for the bull. Bull's 170. Eye. Oh, dearie me, that's a wide. Foul and a miss, we call it. Yep. Salmon, you require <laughs> As we call it. 1 3 1 then for Salmon Renyan. Options, but should be going the 20 route, the more orthodox way. He should go down for treble 17 here to leave himself tops. It's a good dart from Salmon, that's but, he has, to, John, but he has to 41. wait and see what John's going to do with 41. Yep, 10. 10, 9, or 1? A 10. T uh, I don't know. <laughs> a 10. I'm going back to bed. Double 16 for John Scott. Double 16, 1 to go. <laughs> a 10. A 9. <laughs> it's because I was I'm 9 and 1, and that adds up to 10. I got confused. Leave me alone. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> Tops so, for Renyan. Double 10 for the man from Groningen. Oh, not too far away. No. Double five, one to go. Well, I think Groningen was closer than that dart for double five. Yes. So John, John Scott returns 32. to the board for double 16 in a 3 0 lead. Yep, that will put John on the hill. It's a good marker. Another good marker. Come on, he says. No no. Score. That's another good marker, but he had no darts left. <laughs> and now Salmon returns Salmon to the board for that aforementioned 10. ten. See, I told you it was ten. Yes. Single one for double two. For well, the former Dutch international. John Scott is not looking. Oh, he's looking now. And see. Eight. Oh, and the yes. eyebrows go up. That Salmon is missing again. John, you require 32. John, with an outside chance. A raising of the eyebrows from John Scott as he says, oh, he's given me a chance. It's an outside chance. Let's go 3-0 up in this one. A chance he probably was not expecting. Oh. And again, he's just struggling with this double. Uh, yeah, not that time he hasn't. John Scott. John Scott finally finds double 16 and moves into a 3-0 lead. It's not the best Fourth lack of the match. It's Only a 23 daughter, but... Mm. It's a winning leg, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter a jot how many darts he took. He leads 3 0. Must say hello to Stephen and Nicola Gormley watching on back in Bonnie, Scotland. 100. I got a message saying, I've got a bet on here. Is that you commentating? Yes, yes, it is me. Hello. And hello, Nicola. Who so. didn't think it was me. You should be ashamed of yourself, Mrs. Oh, Gormley. Of course. He's the <laughs> famous man from Scotland. Indeed. Not quite 100. Billy Connolly, but I'm getting there. Meanwhile, back at I the ranch. I don't know who that is, so it doesn't <gasps> Oh, I, I must. Who is it? He's the, the most amazing, famous comedian to ever come out of Scotland. He's one of the greatest so Scottish. I thought it was Kevin Bridges. 60. Kevin Bridges is very good, but he's no Billy Connolly. There is only one Billy Connolly. I like Kevin Bridges, he has some good things. Yes. Very, very funny man. Especially with his Scottish accent. <laughs> Did he, aye? 55. Did he, aye? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to the darts. Back let's to the darts. Let's leave the stand-up comedy away. Yes, if you want to see that, go to the YouTube <laughs> and you'll see enough funny things about Kevin Bridges. How we end up in Kevin Bridges if we have a match between an Englishman and a Dutchman? The pass. No idea. 100. Never mind. We'll carry on regardless. Yes. So. If you have just tuned in, this is the darts. 
Yes. You have a Scotsman and a Dutchman talking absolute rubbish. Hopefully the people back home enjoy the stream and hopefully a little bit of the commentating. Yeah. 59. Can't find the troubles at the moment. He really needed them because he's 3 0 down. So you have the feeling if John puts a good score in, and you can see the finish line. And what a way to do it. Two troubles already in. That's Superb stuff. That's three. Brilliant score from John Scott to leave 61 after 12 darts. By the way, before we go into this finish from John Scott, Lisa Ashton has just called us Laurel and Hardy. Wow. That is Rudd from the four-time world champion, but thank, you. thank you, Lisa. I we'll thought we were friends. <laughs> we'll let her off this time. I thought we were friends. Well, John Scott let Salman Renyan off here with this 61 finish. 25 for double 18. He goes the 15 route. So 14. No, it's a six, I think. Six so for tops. tops. And he will return. And hello to Danielle Ashton also, who has grasped her mother in for calling us that. Unfortunately, Lisa is not here. Hopefully, we'll see her back soon on the WDF circuit. Absolutely. The very best of luck to Lisa in her forthcoming 100. attempt at the Ali Pali. John, yes. you're quite 20. I can tell, uh, tell you, Marco, our next match on the stream, we'll see the former world champion, Yella Klassen, come onto John the stage, Scott. and it will be very soon because John Scott takes out Double 10 and one dart for a 4-0 victory over Salman Renyan. Didn't play his best on the stage at Salman, but very good player. But came up against John Scott, who was in good form. And he makes his way into the last 64 of the competition. An 80.81.24 average sees him through.